Good morning, folks. The departing sunspots did what we've seen the majority of the time since late 2011. They waited to fire until they left the Earth-facing disk. A large coronal mass ejection was produced by the solar flare that registered M7.3, a fairly large M-class blast. As we've seen numerous times as well, it appears a pre-flare event occurred and aided in the destabilization that eventually became the solar flare. As you can imagine with the position of the blast, the CME is not at all Earth-directed. The sunspots continue their decay on a path to possible trough. It all depends on what's coming in behind the southeastern limb, which decided to pop one off this morning as well. Much smaller of an eruption, and this one was mostly filamentary. So the southern coronal hole is departed. The northern coronal hole swung through Earth-facing position the last 24 hours, a southern extension of the northern polar opening. An earthquake that definitively rang in 6 magnitude range in far eastern Russia was downgraded to 5.7 by the USGS. Also took another tremor in China. This morning a 5.3 that also hit 6 on one reader struck Japan. The two oddest quakes of the day hit Kansas, actually rang into 5 range on some meters, and another between Canada and Greenland in Baffin Bay. We've got a number of new seafloor maps and visualizations available from Scripps. They are mapping terrain, gravitational anomalies, and other topographical features. It's well worth checking out. We also found a guy who flew a drone into the Iceland volcano zone. Apparently his GoPro camera melted. They were able to recover the memory card, however. Solid article out from NOAA discussing how their global warming models suggest the Colorado floods from about this time last year were not due to our emissions. Their models actually suggest less rain in these areas. They did not include solar activity, which, by the way, we have yet another article about. For those just joining the party, the IPCC had to admit that we've had no real global warming for nearly two decades, so scientists around the world went to work trying to fix the flawed models, which again, completely ignore a solar influence. But we're now well over 200 papers in the last three years explaining why most of climate change is caused by our star. Right below the video, you will find a link to our climate change playlist. It explains this in good detail. Uyen candidate Fan Phone strengthened incredibly and is ready to clip Japan. Right behind that is our next candidate, yet to be named, but following right in the wake. Perhaps the Japan quake we showed had an Earth spot connection. Meanwhile, Simon could be a problem. It appears that most models suggest it will trek towards the U.S. Southwest as we've seen a number of times this year already. More flooding could be just days away. Meanwhile, We've got a perfect example of the climate extremes event taking place. In the northern hemisphere, low pressure sucks in counterclockwise, while high pressure pushes outward clockwise. Where they meet in the middle, they're always pushing in the same direction. The strong low is ripping moisture and heat up the leading east edge, which is causing unseasonably warm temperatures for that region. But on the backside, we're getting an equally strong flow to the south. The unseasonable heat is followed by bad storms as the convergence smashes together air of vastly different moisture, heat, and potential, causing an energetic release, while major cold and snow events trail the system on the western side. Areas see the full scope of climate extremes in as little as 72 hours. We've got a similar counterclockwise driving low still atop Iceland, reinforced by the high pressure system to the south. Where's their convergence going? Right over top the major flood warnings this evening. Iceland's still getting dumped on as well, right beneath the low. In Australia, we've got a weak low regulating some rain for the west, but the primary story is a heavy moisture flow heading atop New Zealand. That'll be the worst alert. Helio Viewer is not cooperating, so we hit SDO and ISWA for shots of our star to close. Eyes open. No fear. It's 6.15 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.